Howdy. In this video, I'm going to be using Blender 2.82.7. And I'm going to take a someone else's video and the output from their video and show you how to use that in Second Life. So in Tutor for You, he made a video beyond the basics. Number three, it's about a five minute video. And when he gets done, well, he takes it and uses it to produce a uh, this kind of a texture. I'll show you the whole thing here on a cube. I'm sorry, a sphere and a coffee cup. And when I did the, the uh, tra his training video, I just used it to put it on a cube here. And when you get done, you should be end up with a set of nodes in the shading editor that look about like this. Uh, okay, and he, he zooms in and explains what all of these nodes are for and what they're doing. Just does a really great job of explaining. So now what we want to do is we want to figure out how to use this in Second Life for this example, how to create this really nifty uh, paint job on our cube here. So what we need to do is go over to Cycles, and then we need to go into the World View. Keep forgetting that. And we need to turn on, like I've already done it, sorry. It's turn on Use Nodes, click on Color, push it all the way up. So strength, set the strength to 3. And I have disabled the light here. And that's because we can't import the light into Second Life. So, it, so I end up using the ambient world lighting to light our, our object to get our textures. Okay, so we're just about there, actually. Pretty simple. So what I want to do is we're gonna unwrap this and get ourselves some textures on it. Uh, we go into edit mode, uh, select everything in base mode, I guess, it doesn't matter, do an unwrap, go over to this guy and text the 3D editor, there's our unwrapped object. Now we go back over here, I'm going to do a shift A, texture, image texture. New, diffuse, don't need no stinking alpha, click OK, make sure this is highlighted now, there's our item, now we go up to the settings here and again, our cycles, if you have a GPU, set the GPU, go down to bake, and then bake, Select the diffuse entry right there. Leave all the rest of the stuff by default. Again, make sure this is active and click bake. There's our progress. There's our baked object. Now we need to do is save that. So we save as. We're going to save it over the top of the other one. Shift D, let's do this, create a new object, this is going to be our normals, again no alpha needed, make that, make sure it's highlighted, go over to our bake, go down to normal, click bake, there's our status, and mean on that there's our pretty normals okay save that one do a save as I write it over the top of that normal there right now we need to export Collada go in here and click on in 
in the export menu you can see operator presets and who second life and open sim static i think if i remember right that just turns that on and click export okay so now we go over to second life and we'll see what we can do here we do a build upload mesh model and there's the one I just created. Open it and turn on textures. See, we don't even really need that. This is kind of peculiar. It, we still having issues with it not uploading the textures, but we're going to need to upload the textures anyhow, so that's fine. Calculate the weights. Do the upload. There's our dumb old cube. Put it down here. Great. Ah, looks like it. Upload the uh, color, the material itself. We're going to need to fix that, but we'll, well, we'll show you in a second here. So I'm going to do a Control U to do an upload and do a diffuse. Upload, diffuse. There's our baked item. There we go, drop it on there, and nothing happened. Well, and the reason for that is, if we go to textures, we'll see that it put the material and the texture is on there, is the same color. So what we're gonna do is change that to white. That adds the texture on top of the base material color. All right, looking good so far, but we don't have any 3D. We don't see those holes in our paint job, so we need to upload the normal. So another Control U, up, click the normals to an open. Here's our normals. Hopefully you can see that. I guess it won't let me expand it, but it's there. You can see the little bumps. Click load. Now we go over to this guy, click on bumpiness, and grab the normals and just drop it in on top of that. Click OK. This is kind of new. I don't remember seeing that where it does the UUID for you automatically. Okay, now our cube has been properly textured. And look at that nifty looking outlining that it's got. How cool is that? All right, so again, I need to refresh you on this. And that is that you will not see those normals unless you use the advanced lighting model. So in uh, using Firestorm up here, go to graphics, advanced lighting models. You can see if it's turned off, you don't get to see any of that stuff. It doesn't appear. So if you're video card doesn't have enough oomph to support that. Well, sorry. Okay, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, if you want to see more like it, click subscribe and like. And tell your friends, tell your enemies. Pass it on. We'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.